Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and because I know that you love dinosaurs, today we're going to learn more about the most important types of dinosaurs. As you all know, there are lots of types of dinosaurs, some huge ones, wow, or some smaller ones, like this one, which is the size of a hen. There were also flying dinosaurs, land dinosaurs, herbivore dinosaurs, and ferocious carnivore dinosaurs. Do you want to know more about the most important ones? Let's get to it! Diplodocus dinosaurs were gigantic. They reached up to 27 meters long and could weigh up to 20 tons. That's 20,000 kilos. Because they were herbivores, I can't even imagine how much grass they had to eat. Wow! Velociraptors were carnivores and they weighed about 15 kilos. They were about the size of a contemporary wolf. We believe that they used to hunt in herds. That way they could hunt prey way larger than them. Wow! Tyrannosaurus rex were 12 to 30 meters long. 4 meters high and could weigh between 6 to 8,000 kilos. They were carnivores and they are the most feared and ferocious land animals ever to exist. <gasps> they were very fast. They could reach more than 65 kilometers an hour. Triceratops actually remind me of rhinos. They were 9 meters long and weighed 6 tons. They are the largest animals with horns ever to exist. And as you can see in the images, their horns were also huge. Before I leave, did you know that paleontologists believe that there were more than a thousand dinosaur species? By the way, do you know that paleontologists are people who study dinosaurs? Goodbye happy friends, see you next time, I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to talk about some animals that existed 65 million years ago. I am sure you have heard about the dinosaurs. And I'm certain you have seen them in many films and cartoons featuring dinosaurs. But not everything that is told in these films is correct. So if you don't mind, let's find out what they are really like and how they lived. The first thing we need to understand is that people and dinosaurs never lived together. The dinosaurs lived before human beings existed and they roamed the earth for approximately 135 million years. That's a really long time. They were the dominating vertebrates. Nowadays, more than 500 different species have been identified thanks to bones and fossils found. All dinosaurs were oviparous, meaning they reproduced by laying eggs. 
but there were huge differences between them. Some were very small, while others were absolutely enormous. So as to learn about them better, we have divided them into two major groups, Ornithischia and Cerischia. What complicated names they have! The Ornithischia, or bird-hipped dinosaurs, were herbivore, which means they only ate plants. The most well-known was the Triceratops. They were impressive, huh? The Cerischia, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, were the ancestors of the crocodiles and lizards. Among these species, they were carnivores and herbivores, and with them then, the two most famous dinosaurs, the Diplodocus and the Tyrannosaurus. The Diplodocus was the largest dinosaur. In 1907, an entire skeleton was found, measuring 27 meters. Although, remains of these specimens have been found exceeding 50 meters. In these images, you can observe just how enormous they were. The Tyrannosaurus was and still is the most fearsome predator which has ever existed on our planet. It was more than 4 meters high and could be up to 12 meters in length. In its mouth, it had 60 razor-sharp pointed teeth and it could run 65 kilometers per hour. The truth is, I would be absolutely petrified if I would come across such an animal. But wait a minute, how is it possible that such large and powerful animals completely disappeared off the face of the Earth? Currently, the investigators are focusing on two big theories. The first is based on the impact of an asteroid or comet from outer space. The other theory maintains that the cause of the dinosaur's disappearance was due to a period of enormous volcanic activity. We actually still don't really know the truth. But what we do know with absolute certainty is that right now, at this very moment, there are still many animals in great danger of being extinct and could even disappear. All of us can help them survive. How? By respecting nature, recycling, contaminating the least bit possible, buying only what we really need. If we make these efforts, we will be able to live in a much healthier planet. And we, at the same time, will be ensuring that no animal, not a single one, will ever be in danger of extinction again. Let's hope with everybody's help, we can make it. Goodbye, friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.